They're on. All right. Um, my name is Stephen Fitzgerald. I'm a metal sculptor, and I live a little bit north of San Francisco. And I have a one-man show at Risk Press Gallery in Sebastopol, California. And uh, I just am starting a series of short vignettes about my work to uh, get a little airplay. And uh, I wanted to start with the pieces that I'm probably known mostly for. This is a mid-career show, so I've got some uh, good quantity of work here, but uh, I wanted to outline the process by which I make these figures. This is done with uh, very thin shell molds taken off the live model, and the figure, this, this full life-size figure represents four molds, and the abdomen in front, the chest, the back, and the butt section. So there's, that's about four 45-minute poses. Now, I, I've engineered this process where, whereby I restructure the mold to accommodate the heat of welding and the weight of steel. And with these restructured molds, I can actually build up the form inside the negative molds. And then the, in the final, I've got four sections and I weld them together. But I like to use uh, scrap from laser cutting, from plasma cutting. So these particular drops are drops from laser cutting that I have formed each one with a ball peen hammer on the anvil to fit flush within the mold. And when it fits just right, I weld it to its neighbor. So it's a sort of a meticulous process, a little bit labor intensive, but and the form builds up slowly, but in the final analysis you get an exact representation of this young woman's body. She was a tiny little uh, uh, ballet dancer uh, and modern dancer. And um, so in the final analysis you get this nice um, exact scale of this person's body. It's not bigger, it's not smaller. So, so you made a mold of her first. I did, several molds. And and the idea came to me in a, in a marvelous dream. And, um, you know, as artists, we're lucky if we're remembered for, you know, if we have two or three really unique ideas during our whole lifetime, that's generally about as much as we can hope for. And, and, and this is know, one of them. Yeah, if I'm remembered for anything in this life, it'll probably be for this technique. Anyway, okay. I just wanted to... Um, so this is a female form, and I wanted to show you another figure made in the same way. This is male torso, and I've used... Uh, I've done the same technique, and it's, this is actually my self-portrait. This piece is called Reflection. And it, uh, I taught my models uh, how to take the molds off of me for this, and this was done about 15 years ago. And I've uh, used industrial punch parts to uh, delineate the, the surface area of my body in this regard. And I've used the little discs where there's a high contour around the collarbones and, the, and in the parts of the face. So Reflection is the title of this piece. And um, topographic emotions was the title of the previous sculpture. So you did a mold of you on this one? Yeah, several molds. These are uh, five different molds, sectional molds. Abdomen front, the chest front, the head, the back, and the butt. So that was five 45-minute poses, probably. Okay, that's good for session one. 